Hi there, thanks for joining me today. This video I'll be discussing seven main things or key um, um, things to getting a NAFTA work permit application um, as a professional. So the first thing is obviously to qualify under NAFTA, you do need to uh, be either an American or a Mexican citizen. So your citizenship is obviously vital if you're from let's say India or Pakistan, then you don't qualify under NAFTA, you may be eligible under a different avenue. So the first thing is your citizenship. So you definitely have to provide proof of that, whether it's a citizenship certificate or a passport data page, something of that sort to prove that. So that's uh, relatively easy to understand. The second is your profession has to be listed uh, in the occupation list of NAFTA. Now, there's 60 occupations and only those 60 will be accepted. So let's say if you say I'm a um, individual in uh, as a, I'm a construction manager, uh, something like this. That's that occupation specifically is not on the 60 list of NAFTA occupations. However, if you said I work for a um, construction company as a consultant, you may qualify as a management consultant. So it's not really your job title that you should focus on, it's more your job duties. And based on the duties, we can evaluate to see if you do uh, qualify under NAFTA. So the job description becomes very, very critical. The third thing that you have to remember is obviously you need a employment offer or a contract from the Canadian company. That contract has uh, specific things that it needs to mention. Uh, obviously the duration of your employment, the company you'd be working for, the salary you'd be paying, and specifically the job description that is being offered. Because ultimately that's what the officers will be looking at, and they'll look at the job description, and then they'll compare it to make sure that, that those description is actually part of the 60 list, list of qualified professionals. The fourth is applying for the correct length of work. Now, despite the fact that a NAFTA work permit can be issued uh, for three years, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should ask for the full three years. The longer you ask for, the more difficult it becomes to get the work permit. You really have to justify that you are needed for the duration of the employment. Um, and so a reasonable request for most occupations is one to two years. If you're asking for three years, then include some sort of chart or graph or some sort to outline the progress of the work and to say, this is what I'll be doing year one, this is what I'll do year two, this is what I've needed year three. Um, because they do highly scrutinize if you do ask for the full three years. Better to ask for the first, for one and two years, and then if you are needed the third year, then you just apply for an extension. So keep that in mind. Uh, the fifth is where you apply for the um, permit. Now you can apply at the port of entry or you can apply at the visa office. So if you are an American, you can apply at the New York visa office. Um, and if you're Mexican, you obviously apply at the consulate that governs uh, Mexico. Um, and um, you could also do it at the port of entry, as I stated. Americans don't need to you know, apply for any visas or whatever, they just go at the border and present their application. A Mexican does need an ETA, so get that first, then you kind of fly in um, and drive over to the Canadian border um, and um, get that work permit at the border. So it's both possible, right? Uh, but most likely if you're Mexican, it's probably easier to just do it at the visa office. However, I do find it easier um, and the chances of success are a little bit higher at the port of entry versus at the visa office, but it's kind of difficult for you to probably maybe fly to US and then drive over to the Canadian border. It's a possibility, but it might be a little bit more difficult, more challenging that way, um, but it is possible if that's what you're looking at doing. The sixth one is you must have the correct supporting documentation. Now this is very difficult to summarize in one video because depending on what occupation you're applying under, the requirements are different. But specifically, um, most occupations require a degree and, and or experience. So look at the NAFTA list and look at if there's a degree required, which degree specifically is required, and how many years of work experience is needed and make sure you provide that. So if it is work experience, for example, if they need three years of work experience, you should prove that you have three years of work experience with employment reference letters, proof of work, things like this. Last but not least is you must uh, be entering Canada on a temporary basis. And this is very important 
the officer has to be satisfied that you will leave Canada at the end of your stay. So provide documentation to prove your ties outside of Canada. If you're looking at filing a NAFTA work permit, give us a call. We're here to help. Thank you, and until next time.